morning, everybody. My name's Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. I don't really have a lot to say today. It's uh, been a very quiet day. Um, Claudine has gone up to uh, mail a letter over to my brother. It has to be mailed overnight. It's a form that I had to sign. So we're, we went yesterday and got it signed, and then or like got it witnessed, and then we're mailing it today. So she's there, and she sent me a picture, and there's a long lineup. I said, we went in there before Christmas, and there was no lineup. And here you go after Christmas, and here's a big lineup at the post office. It's crazy. Anyway, so that she's doing that, and then she's going to go pick up some nice ham and bacon lunch lunch meat for us. We have leftover chili, and we're going to have leftover chili and Kaiser buns with this ham and bacon loaf. I love that ham and bacon loaf. You know, it's it's a really nice deli meat, and I haven't seen it very many places. And one of the places that they sell it is at the Sobeys Deli. And when I came back to town, I said, oh, that's good. We'll be able to go there and get that again because they didn't have it at the Sobeys in Bridgewater. And I went and they didn't have it. And it's now been, I think we moved here in 2016. It's 2022. So that's uh, six years. And they finally had got it. And I said to Claudine, oh, my goodness, look what they've got. So she's going to go and get us a little bit tonight. And, and we'll have these lovely Kaiser buns. And uh, let's see, what else are we doing? Uh, Bill was waiting for a, um Amazon parcel. He wanted a DVD set. He likes to just watch DVDs instead of movies. Like he likes to watch a whole series of things. So we every once in a while just buy a DVD set and put it up on the shelf. He's got lots and lots of them. He watches them over and over. Eh? But anyway, so he's waiting for that. It's supposed to be coming today. Um, I ordered some bins and a little cart to try to organize the linen closet. It's just, when you got two people, it's worth of linens up in there. It's very congested. So we're going to organize it better. And then the uh, lounge room that we have upstairs, which is a third bedroom upstairs, we made it into a little lounge so that Bill could have his computer desk and his uh, television and stuff so he can sit up by himself watches shows and he's not bored with the lady talk so anyway he is up doing that and um i thought well what was too much for the linen closet i'd put over into the closet in the other room and it's nice if you have bins to organize it it's just better than just putting it right onto well they don't all have shelves so the linen closet has shelves but the other one is like a wardrobe it has hangers so i thought that that would be a good thing for us to set our minds on next. I, I think that will be next week's task, getting those closets organized. I think that's going to be next week. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm on the move today. It's I'm jumping all over the place, so not much I can do about it. I do want to get started on my headboard um, that I'm going to be making, and I'm quite excited about it, but I need an, a larger piece of cardboard. And um, so once I get the larger piece of cardboard and get it cut, then I can get started on it. have all the parts I think I need for it. And, you know, that's good. My, <laughs> my flowers that had adorned Belle so beautifully. Belle was my scooter, for those of you who are new. Um, because we can't use the scooter in the winter, I've got the uh, uh, flowers just wound around my tripod. And uh, they're looking a little forlorn, even though they're stuffed. They're looking a little bit forlorn. I'll need to perk them up a bit. You would never know that it was winter here when I'm wearing sleeveless. But that's me most of the time. If I go outside, then I bundle up. But when I'm inside, I'm hot stuff. <laughs> I, I keep myself going. Look at this. I'm breaking out in all kinds of little sores along my lips. I'm going to have to go buy some, what do they call that stuff, you know, that you put on cold sores? Um, I forget what you call it. But anyway, I'm going to have to go buy some to put on my lips. I think I don't like chapstick because it's kind of greasy. But this other one has a medication in it and does it. Somebody also said once if you used coconut oil that you can do that. So I, I might have to try that. Just realized I'm rambling on here awfully quick. I should calm down. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. You know, I get excited. I get talking to people and I start to ramble on and you know it's an it's an annoying habit for other people to have to listen to <laughs> but anyway now let's see we're having leftover chili and a buns and 
lunch meat for supper. There's nothing too much I have to do there. I want there was something I was going to make that just required the mix master. What was it? I said to Claudine, I could do that. Huh? What? What the devil was it that needed just the mix master? Huh? Oh, I think she was going to make banana. Oh, I know what it was. She was going to make banana bread. So I said to her, Well, I can, I can, you know, put everything in the mix master. She goes, I'll give you the job of mashing bananas. You should be able to handle that. Good heavens. Mashing bananas is a big job. <laughs> She's a hoot. She is a hoot. She, and then she'll say to me, I don't want you taking your own pills because you'll drop them. I will put them in your mouth. I said, what about the nights that you're out in the garage and stuff playing cards with the girls? I said, you're not going to want to come in and give me my pills. She comes in and gives me my pills. So today... She was having a little nap in the afternoon, and my two o'clock pills was coming around. She says to Bill, she says, can you put three of those little yellow tablets for Mum? So he brought them out, and he put them in my little container here, and I saw, oh, it's two o'clock, and you take those, and my little Alice machine reminded me. And I picked them up and popped them in my mouth. One stayed in the tray, one got in my mouth, and one fell somewhere. Never could find it. And I said... And, I mean, we worry because we have the dogs and stuff, you know, so that's kind of scary. Anyway, I want to tell you something about the dog. You've all seen the dog. You all know how big of a dog she is. She's like 80 pounds or something. She's a big dog. But she is so friendly. She's so beautiful. She, the other day, I was having her rest up on the bed. She come up on the bed with me, and she laid down beside me. And I put my arm over like this. And we slept on that bed so comfortably. So I found out that Claudine had snapped a picture, and I loved it. So I'm going to put that in at the end of this here so that you can see Indica on the bed with me. And just to give you an idea, I'll put another picture of Indica in just so that you can see her. So I'm going to put that picture or those two pictures in at the end. We're going to say have a good day, and we'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.